What's up you guys, this is Aizu back again with another tutorial video, so on my last video about how to connect a Nintendo Switch controller to PC, I got a lot of comments in the comments section saying it wasn't working right, I think you missed a, missed a step, so I'm gonna do it all over again, step by step this time, and show you that officially it was working on my Switch controller, because I know I didn't have a camera showing that, so I'm gonna show you for real, so yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so... Whoever has an Apex Pro knows that it has a USB, so I'm gonna plug my controller into my keyboard because it connects to my computer. So you'll see something pop up. I'm pretty sure if I can even put it in here. Put it in here. Okay. Okay. Come on. I can do this. Alright. Got that plugged in. Now I'm gonna plug in the switch. I don't know if you guys just heard that noise. Not sure. But yeah, so if you're over here, it should have connected over here. Alright, so that noise is connected. Make sure before you open up Steam, make sure you go down to this little arrow right here. Show hidden icons. Make sure you don't have Epic Launcher open. If you have Epic Launcher open, the controller is not going to be like... It's not going to work right. So make sure you close out the launcher right here before you even do anything. Anything. Alright, after that, you're going to want to open up Steam. There we go. So once I signed in... Yo, let me, once I signed in, um, this automatically popped up. It says, using a controller, please run Steam in big picture mode. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, let me just close out all this stuff. Let me open this. All right, so we are in Steam, and what you want to do is go into big picture mode at the top right corner. You can see I'm using my mouse. Cool graphics on that. Um, you're gonna want to go to the gear. You're gonna want to go to controller settings. You're gonna want to go to Switch Pro configuration support right here. Make sure you click this box. To enable it and then once you click it this right here will use button use Nintendo button layout so this is the normal buttons you know like on a pro controller and then this is Xbox so you're gonna want to hit this to use the button layout for the switch and then right here it says detected controllers Nintendo switch pro controller which is connected As you can see it's on a wire and it's charging too so yeah um, then you hit back then you want to go to hit back and then you're going to want to go back. Then you're going to want to go to exit big picture. Then you want to go back to Steam right here. You're going to want to go to your library at the top. You're going to want to hit add game. And then you're going to want to hit add a non-Steam game. And then you're going to look for Epic's launcher in the list. I already have it here because I've done it before. So once it's right here, and as you can see, it's not open yet. So... Once you hit play, it's going to launch it like like the launcher. So before you open up this thing, make sure you have Steam open in the background still. You can like minimize it if you want to, but you don't have to.
Alright, so let me turn down the desktop audio because it's super loud. And okay, so if I touch the control okay, so I can control it with my mouse as you can see like this, right? And if I use the controller, I can use this too. It works. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. So I'm gonna hit it. Alright. And I'm using the controller right now. Mouse is right here. Now we just wait, bro. Alright, so I'm gonna hit B. I'm gonna hit the plus to go to the settings. Cause I need to do windowed. Windowed full screen. Oh, crap. Okay, so right here it says Y. So you gotta hit Y. So the Y is not gonna be... Wait, never mind. Just kidding, guys. Alright, so I'm in full picture mode. I am on the controller, as you can see. You can move the joystick around. Hit the buttons to go to the item shop, you know. Just just like using a controller and computer. I know in the comments, a lot of people said it, it's acting like a mouse when you try to play. I think it's because um, you didn't have that little thing closed out before you opened up everything else. Like in the arrow box, down on like the taskbar. So yeah, make sure you do that stuff. That's very important. So yeah, let's um, let's go in creative real quick and do some gameplay. Show you that everything works with the Switch Pro controller. Plug it into your computer. This is really cool because I can plug my controller in to my keyboard. Apex Pro Life, you know, you know, two hundred dollar keyboard. Let's get it. All right, so we loading in right now. Got the Pro controller. You already know it's gonna be hard. You already know the vibes. Is your boy Zaizu coming through with the tutorials? All right, so we are in Creazin. You already know Creazin. All right, so we running. Oh, dude, I can't play holding the controller like up like this, bro. All right, we just gonna go to like a map so I can show you guys that everything works. What? Okay, so. Normally on a Nintendo Switch, you would hit like right here, right? But it's at the top now. So the Y and the X is kind of like Switch. So you have to get used to it if you're gonna play on computer with the with the Pro Controller. Cause it thinks it's like Xbox layout, but like not really. Cause at the bottom you can see the X is like pretty much looking like an Xbox X on like your weapons bar. Whoa, that's not it. Flash camp. Uh, uh uh no that's not it either. Okay. Yo. That ain't happening right now. Oh I deleted it, bro. I keep doing that. I delete it. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go in this one. Everything works as you guys can see. You already know the vibes. You already know the vibes. All right, we load in into a creative map. All right, we start it. So normally you would hit Y to start the game, right? But on here it's X, so make sure you get used to it. All right, so look at this. Is in this computer? Like everything works. Whoa, it's it's like way different than Switch, you know. So if you're like gonna get used to it, it feels way different. I mean, at least for me, I'm on 240 FPS because of my computer. But you know, us Switch players are used to 30 frames. So yeah. Um, as you can see, everything works. I'll go to settings. Oh, I'm at 200 FPS. My bad, guys. Um, so yeah, it's going to show an Xbox controller, but obviously it's a Switch controller. But this is my... I have left stick on edit. Build controls, edit. I have jump on my right stick. And you can program it, you know, like all these buttons just like you normally would. And yeah. So that's it, guys. Pretty much this controller on nintendo switch hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like 
and if you aren't subscribed and you watch this video and it helped make sure you drop a subscribe because it really helps me out i'm on a goal to hit 2000 by the end of this year and yeah guys um comment down below for another tutorial you would like to see related to switch or anything like fortnite anything so yeah guys hope you guys enjoy sorry it's really hard to get used to this but yeah guys hope you guys enjoy the video it's your boy zaizu and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching Peace.